This is a good spot. So this is a very pure hate song that I just wrote for like somebody who was mean to me on the internet one time. Um, I don't know if anyone's ever been mean to you on the internet, but it's surprisingly distressing. Um, and so I was having this reaction like, why is this guy saying mean stuff about me on the internet? I didn't know what to do about it. Um, and I asked some of my friends and they said like, you should really just take the high road, you know, turn the other cheek and ignore it. Um, but I was like, nah. Um, that's not really my style, so instead of that, I decided to write him a song of hatred and revenge. When I'm fat and happy and high on the hog, will you still be moaning like a three-legged dog? Will you still be lying like a bump on a log? When you want to hang on to the car key, though, in case you need? You don't have anything else in there, do you? The tea was maybe not a good idea. <laughs> well, so I have a weird background. I grew up in the South in Virginia, um, but my family's Jewish. My mother's Jewish, so I'm, I am Jewish, but my dad. He's a legitimate redneck from like rural Virginia and like grew up in a house without any like water, like in the house and stuff. And then like kind of went and got a PhD and became a therapist and and he also is like writes these books and leads workshops my house was a little bit of a cult I guess is what I'm saying and I didn't go to school so I so I was raised in the south but had a very eccentric upbringing and I think that allowed me to get really comfortable kind of being an outsider my name's Carsey Blanton um yeah you know <laughs> I think one reason I do keep coming back to Ireland actually is because over here I'm considered moderately far to the left, like reasonably far to the left. And you love it, and they like it. And of course in the US I'm considered an enemy of the state. This is actually another new song that's not out yet, it'll be on the next record. Um, but I've been thinking about this one a lot because it's uh, called Empire, and it's about what it feels like to live inside of a warlike and crumbling empire, uh, which is where I live. Uh, back in the US. So I guess the good news is that it's crumbling. <laughs> I moved out at 16 to live with a bunch of musicians. It was slightly more um, of a, like a punk rock aesthetic. It was both. It was definitely hippie. That's cool. But we like dumpster dove and busked. I think it made me sort of critical of capitalism in a way. They say we're enemies, but I know we'll be friends. After the empire ends. Oh, after the empire ends. I will your prize. Well, I've been thinking lately that I really only write three kinds of songs. I just keep writing them over and over again. Uh, and they are love songs, of course. I started out only writing love songs. Then I discovered an even better kind of song, and that is the hate song. <laughs> and the third type is, of course, the protest song. To me, the tradition of protest music is about making protesting feel like vital and fun and like sexy and joyful. and. That's what enrolls people. Most people aren't enrolled by just being like scolded, you know? <laughs> so here's a protest song I wrote back in the, uh, the George Floyd protest of 2020. Um, and I've been thinking about it a lot lately, so I'm gonna send it out to uh, all the millions of people marching for Palestine all over the world. It's called Down in the Streets. Mm -hmm. 
Mama, it's a disaster Going faster and faster And all of my heroes Turning out to be bastards I think that I have a little bit of a different perspective than a lot of American Jews. Like I have like newspaper clippings of my grandparents being arrested in civil rights marches and stuff. Um, so for our family, saying free Palestine doesn't feel like threatening. <laughs> um, and in fact feels like, oh yeah, that makes sense. That's one of the struggles that we would have already sort of heard about and been involved in. Um, but then you're seeing a lot of other Jewish Americans who do have some background with Zionism or at least some family who are Zionists or maybe some family in Israel um, where they're reacting in a really different way. Um, and what's interesting too is it's like it feels like in the US right now you can have liberal Jews who maybe don't personally identify as Zionists but who still feel attached to the Zionist project of Israel and feel that it's important that it has a right to exist and are not sort of willing to look at it from a colonization perspective, mm -hmm. um, which to me it seems like a clear example of a colonial project. Um, so yeah, anyway, for me as an American Jew, it's felt very clear what, what the right thing to do is or like what the moral stance to take is. Um, mm -hmm. e although that's been quite unpopular, it's getting a little more popular now. This, this month has gone really fast, I found. Like the, the culture has just kind of like, ah! I'm in love with you. It's all right. I fall in love nearly every night. And it fills up my heart so I can't keep it in. So I hope you don't mind if I say it again. I'm in love with you. With what's going on in Gaza now, um, it's been really interesting over the past months to see kind of how the culture has responded or not responded to it. Because you can see that artists do feel really moved to say something, but they feel afraid also. And for a lot of artists, they don't have a community that kind of allows them to feel validated in what they want to say. Um, and I do have that community because I've been like organizing already. So I have a group of organizers and thinkers and like political activists who I really trust. And so even though right after the Hamas attacks, nobody was willing to say free Palestine, the people I know were willing to say it. And so that kind of emboldened me. So I think like that's why it's, that's why I'm always encouraging artists to, to join an organization just to feel like you have backup and it's not just like you on your little social media platform all by yourself. I'm in love with you. Is that a sin? I think that we really need a incredibly massive movement of people um, <laughs> to like radically change all of society and I think if we're going to do that then we need artists to step up and you know kind of create the right emotional tone for people to feel enrolled in that project in my country it feels like uh we just we have a very violent culture and we're sort of flinging our violence all over the place Ooh. Make sure you get the drip of spit on the end. It's hot. <laughs> I think a lot of artists feel um, like they kind of pick a side, like you're either going to write political songs or personal songs. Um, and I'm really interested in writing songs that are both. OK, so this is a song that I think a lot of you probably already know. Uh, it was written by a guy called Paul Brady. I had never heard it till last month because it just didn't make it didn't make it to the states. So Una sent it to me, um, with everything going on in Gaza, and was like, "You know this song, right?" And I just like 
sobbed. Like it's quite, it's quite an emotional song. They say the skies of Lebanon are burning. The mighty cedars bleeding in the heat. They're showing pictures on the television. Women and children dying in the street. We're still at it in our own place Still trying to reach the future through the past To carve tomorrow from a tombstone Hearing about all this violence on the news and just feeling the despair of um, living among so much violence. We've had too much of that and um, also that desire to escape, you know. Right now I only want to be here with you Till the morning dew comes falling I want to take you to the island Trace your footprints in the sand down we'll make love to the sound of the ocean um, being able to acknowledge the horror of the world around us and also feel all of the human feelings of like wanting to be loved and wanting intimacy and fun and everything else because it's it's really both being human <laughs> it's not one or the other I know this peace and love's just copping out and all those young boys dying in the ditches That's just what being free is all about Twisted wreckage up on Main Street Will lead us all together in the end And we'll go marching down that road Thank you.